What is going on y'all and welcome back and thank you for joining me for some more Valheim and today I'm going to be going over 10 more tricks that you did not know or hopefully you did not know at least some of them so I may be able to drop some knowledge on you and you'll be able to leave this video a better viking all around but first if you're new here please do consider subscribing and of course smashing that like button so your boy can get a little promotion so let's kick this off nice and easy everybody loves a little foreplay first now early on in Valheim the dagger was slept on a lot i do believe now it is definitely well known that the dagger is not to be taken lightly it is a one hitter quitter if you can get it up high levels closer to 100 we all know how hard it is to actually level skills in valheim because you, death is just imminent always but if you do manage to get your knife level high enough and your sneak of course because you do get the critical damage bonus if you manage to la land a sneak attack watch how i easily pop this troll one time in the ash crack he's done next we're going to be moving on to carts now i am playing dolo on my little test server trying out some patterns and stuff but we can still handle this right now now everybody knows when you load up a cart to a certain capacity or weight that it's going to drag you down real heavy you're barely going to be able to drag it especially up inclines if you are playing with other players you can have somebody harpoon you and then they can drag you as well so that is like it's kind of like a chariot system and it works really well your other option is of course you could unpack the cart back into your inventory once you jump into the cart so then you'll be able to take all the weight off of the cart sit down and then the other person of course this is multiplayer hack will be able to drag the cart away and it will if you leave the boxes in there's just less room and you do pop out sometimes but this is a great way to travel by yourself over encumbered if i mean with another person by yourself your only option is to take a locks with you you know and get over encumbered on the locks and let him ride you home but moving on to some lighting tips. First we have just these plain old torches. Now you can see right here how dull this one light is. But if we stack all of the light sources on top of each other, like so, the wooden torch, the iron torch, the blue torch, and the green torch, just like this, as close as we can possibly get them, it will make this beautiful white rainbowish light Boom. And you can see how the light lighting effect is compounded. And then, of course, we can take and set a block down next to it and then come off of that and place our lights right in the center and cover it up perfect. And boom, there you have it. Rainbow torches. And you can refill them right there through the top, too. It just takes a little time because you got to kind of find each one out of the four. <laughs> but another tip when talking about lighting sources is bonfire chalices now i've seen a lot of funky ways people put up their bonfires this by far is the most efficient and beautiful way because it kind of raises it off the ground keeps it safe from your know, ground attack it's not going to save it from trolls or drakes but graylings and whatnot pesky little uh necks coming in and biting at it stuff like that so this is a great way to handle your bonfires i'm not going to go in depth on how to build it it's just up on two wooden blocks and then you wrap it around with a circle it's pretty simple you can do it a thousand different ways but bonfire chalices way to go that's kind of like a bonus tip i'm not going to count that as one of the legit tips <laughs> but moving on next the campfire does not need a workbench to place so early on all you need is wooden stone and you can run around in your tracks and place the campfires as you can see during ike theory it always rains so you do have to break them down pick a map cup but it is a good tool to use against everything trolls but moving on to our next tip the reason that i actually did come to the plains see i know it's old that you can ride death skeetos if you parry the attack and time a jump right after it but be wary this is a great way to fall to your death yes most of the times they will just sit there and keep hitting you and ride higher and higher almost like they planned it this way they're like yeah you might be able to jump on them but uh it's gonna take you up sky high and drop you thankfully i did have god mode on so it worked out fine for me the other flying creature that you can ride is the drake yes not only can you harpoon these guys and once you get close enough like harpooning letting go and then re-harpooning they'll stop attacking and they'll start just trying to run away and then you'll have yourself a pet flying lizard but then of course you can also just like jump on their back yeah and if you get them in a, a good spot like that right there 
sometimes they just kind of don't know what the AI is broken from being we're trying to run from you and attack <laughs> and these guys do a lot more turning than the death skeetos they're still just as fun to ride it has no real purpose other than you're standing on top of a dragon that's running back and forth like get the hell off of me get the hell off of me <laughs> now since i was on this kick of jumping on things i wondered can you mount motor yes and no you can get on top of her you got to run up from the side while she does her little ice breath and then jump up there she's hard to stay on top of when she takes off but you can get on her and you can as soon as you start pickaxing her though she takes off because you know that's the best the downward thrusting weapon you have but my advice to you if you were actually trying to kill motor was that you need to know that motor has a weakness to fire resistance to blunt immunity to frost spirit and staggers so your best option is to breed you a bunch of wolves bring them with you a ton of fire arrows campfires <laughs> and don't bring any silver <laughs> obviously but moving on to another variation of the Grey Dwarf Farm. Now this is the Wolf Breeder way to clean out GD Farms where you have the Grey Dwarf Spawners that hold the Ancient Seeds in the Black Forest if you build up a breeder really high. So the reason we have to go this extra height is so that the breeding pair does not get upset about the Grey Dwarfs being down there. So you build a little wall right there at the end so you can breed up a nice like re replacement force of wolves because you don't need but so many down there so you put five or six down there let them kill everything and then you keep breeding a pin full up there of another five or six and then when they're dead you can knock the wall out and they'll get they're already angry and they'll just jump down there themselves like that <laughs> so this is a great way to clear gray dwarf farms i've always used draugers because always it's fun and it's different you know and then sometimes i would drag wolves over or build a pen next by ne nearby but this is a super efficient way to get this done and you get pelts wood stone resin and everything else from it now moving on i have seen a lot of hilarious ways for people to try to cheese bone mass if you were not interested in raising all the ground out of the water and using a mace to fight them you can always jump up on the skull you summon him with and get you an aoe weapon the sledgehammer or the stag stag breaker and you can just get up here and pound him into oblivion and yes you do get affected by poison up here but that's it nothing else will bother you not the blobs not the skellies you'll you'll be good up here from harm so bring you a bunch of frost a poison resistance and then you'll be able to just go to town on him and then of course you could jump on him and pickaxe him this doesn't do any better you get constant poison damage from this <laughs> but hey i hope you guys got something from the video if you made it this far go ahead and hit that like button for me comment down below tell me what you thought and if you guys want more of these i can surely make that happen i have a big bag of bad ideas all the time <laughs> but with all that said i appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the video and i will catch you folks in the next one